I love that Drake record. That I mean, y'all know it started from the bottom. Now we're here. And I love it because I'm sure when he was pinning it, he's sitting down just writing those lyrics. He had to be in a moment of deep reflection, really going back to his early roots back in Canada and thinking and, and really just visualizing the days when all he can do was dream about being where he is today. And I'm sure he had to look over the journey and was like, oh my God, like we started from the bottom and now we here. Like that's gotta be an amazing experience. And I thought about that record and I just wanted to, to speak to so many of you guys because Everybody, it's, it's almost like the whole world listening to that Meek Mill record, I'm a boss. And everybody's running around, I'm a boss, I'm a boss. No experience, you just a boss. Nobody wants to be a worker, nobody wants to go through the experience of starting from the bottom, working their way up. Like, let's put this into context, right? What if you were born yesterday, and today, you're this grown woman or grown man, as you know yourself to be. No middle part. You're born, and then right away, you're this adult. How much good stuff, great memories, how many experiences would you have just missed out on if that was the way that life worked? But why is it that in business, Everybody wants to skip the journey and just be a boss. No, embrace starting from the bottom. Embrace the fact that there's so much to learn and there's so much to experience before one day you're sitting at the head of the table giving out orders. Because the journey is the best part of it. It's the best part of it. You know, it's a big freaking difference between watching Kevin Hart in Paper Soldiers or Soul Plane to the Kevin Hart we know today who's selling out arenas and is that box office drawer who every time you turn around has a new movie and it seems like this man is always working. But he's able to do what he does today because all of the experience he gained along the way. Or his counterpart, watching The Rock. You know, Rock, box office drawer, Hollywood A-lister. But if you listen to him, he'll always tell you about his days as a college football star and how things went south. He thought he was gonna be in the NFL. Then he goes and he does the wrestling thing and, and blows up as The Rock and then he transitions over and now he's Dwayne Johnson, big Hollywood A-lister movie star. But what a journey. Started from the bottom. And now he's here. Guys, the best part of the deal is not the end. It's not the end. Stop confusing yourself. It is way too much to learn. It's way too much to experience. You know, I was reading Forbes the other day and they said 51% of all new businesses fail in the first year. You know why that is? Because so many people get into business as an investment. They don't get into, they get into business with no prior experience. They just, oh, I see there's an opportunity to make some money and I'm going to invest over here. I know nothing about that industry, it's just an investment and they lose their money. How about learning the industry? How about working in the industry? How about really getting an understanding of that business that you're investing your money in before you're willing to put your money up? In this way, there's a much greater chance that you'll be able to grow that business instead of going out of business. You know, 
I think it was 2020 or something. You know, I was watching not too long ago and it was um showcasing the early days of Jeff Bezos with Amazon. Jeff Bezos, richest man in the world, had a small office. You would not even see the, the, the early footage. There was no big Amazon at the top of the building. This guy was like on the second floor of some small office building and he's sitting in a cubicle just as happy laughing he started what he thought was going to be an online bookstore and look where it blossomed to but more important seeing where he's at now could you imagine sitting in his seat and him just thinking back to those early days of sitting in a cubicle thinking he's going to build the biggest online bookstore in the world and it has morphed into what Amazon has become now. Embrace starting from the bottom. There's so much to be gained along this journey. You know, I come from the music industry. And all artists, they take that same route. They all into showcases, local talent shows, and they're rocking crowds wherever anybody would give them a mic. They don't care if it's one person in the audience, 10 people, 100 people, but they go from these local venues and slowly but surely they start, you know, gaining a fan base. They're doing a little bigger clubs. Then one day they get lucky and maybe they get booked out of town. Now they're on small tours, but along the way, they're learning their craft. They're understanding stage presence, voice cadences, how to rock a crowd. You know, what songs work, what songs don't work. And then finally, when they get that hit record, they have years of experience. So that when the average person comes to know them, when they finally blow, they can rip any audience, big or small, because they've had so many years of grinding and putting in that work and understanding and learning their craft. Embrace starting from the bottom. It's nothing wrong with it, guys. It's nothing wrong with interning. Some of the biggest industry leaders on planet Earth were interns. Steven Spielberg, intern. Steve Jobs, intern. Bill Gates, intern. Spike Lee, interns. Sean Puffy Combs, intern. Heads of industries now. Imagine what they must feel like looking back over their career. Guys, stop being so self-absorbed and feeling like Oh, I can't, you know, work for experience. I can't believe, you know, you're so offended because somebody would actually ask you to intern and work for no money, work for experience, work to learn the industry that you so-called want to be in and love, but you can't do it making the bare minimum. Then you don't love it that much. Humble yourself. Embrace the journey, embrace the challenge, embrace all that will come with this life experience. And hopefully, God willing, one day you'll be singing that song. You started from the bottom and now you're here. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.